welcome to this festival vlog. So today we are headed to Elements Music Festival. This one is in Long Pond, PA, which is like the Pocono area. I couldn't not go to this festival because it's literally like an hour and 20 minutes from my house. I'm literally, I'm so out of breath because I just carried so much shit up from downstairs. Um, my, I'm actually going to this festival with my two clients, Julia and Angela. Angela's bringing friends, um, and then we're meeting like some other people too. And it's just gonna be a blast, I'm so excited. Now this festival I didn't like prepare as much as Bonnaroo because Bonnaroo literally we spend like the whole year thinking about it. So I'm a little bit like disheveled right now, if that's the word that you would use. But let me show you guys what I'm packing. So the pro tip that everybody probably already knows, but freeze your frozen water bottles and they can act as ice and then you can drink the water later. So I still have to decide what goes in what cooler because I have another one outside, but we have a few liquid deaths Julie and I got, so I'm interested to try those. I love the, the Grim Leafer one, that's the sweet tea. We have iced coffee. I brought a go two goats. We got some pickles, sandwich stuff. We got a lot of turkey. Um, I have stuff to make my protein overnight oats, Legion Protein, code Maddie Garini. Uh, we got rice cakes, bananas, peanut butter. Um, over here, this is like festival stuff. I'm not going to get into it all, but we have our little proteins, kombucha, grapes. This is one of the pasta salads. I have yogurt. We have salsa and so much more that I is just like everywhere. So I'm going to finish packing because Julia's on her way and I need to get my ass moving. Woo! Okay, I'm literally sweating. We have the car all packed up. It actually wasn't bad. We did a great job. I'm not gonna open it. Well, maybe I should. Actually, no. I'll just show you from this angle. Look at that. We are all packed up. Good job. <laughs> perfect, perfect. So, it is presently like eight o'clock. The festival grounds don't open until 10, so we're just gonna go, Like we're like an hour and 20 minutes away, probably make a few stops, uh, cause I wanna, I wanna go to uh, like a Sheets or a Wawa to get like protein bars, cause I didn't do that. <laughs> so, yes, we are on our way, and I'm gonna leave the camera at home, we're gonna film with the phone and the GoPro from here on out. Okay, I can't tell if it's filming. So we just got to this gas station, it's outside the festival because we're waiting for our other friends, Angela, um, and her friends to get here and it's gonna be like half an hour So we're tailgating in the parking lot with our little kombucha because we realized that you can't take glass into the festival And I don't want to deal with like the whole security thing. So we're gonna try these kombuchas. We're tailgating with our little we'll chug them. <laughs> we'll chug. Chug them. Go ahead and open Try that one. First. So, so Island Bliss it's fine. <laughs> smells good. Yeah. It smells. Hmm. That's good. Yeah. I like that that is good. Yeah. There's a bunch of hippies outside, and I can already tell that the people watching is gonna be. It's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, I will be dying laughing by myself at just like random people. It's <laughs> it's actually you know the most entertaining thing ever. Literally. All right, this other one is also by GT GTS. Um, I've had it before. It's called Unity. It's their like summer line, but it's cherry, coconut, and lemongrass. Yum. Mmm, that one's good. I like that one. Yeah. I if like you like, like, cherry. The other one tastes kind of grapefruity to me. Mm -hmm. Which we don't love. But it's a little, it's honestly a little bit chilly right now. So we're just going to chill for half an hour and not do anything interesting. So I'll update you guys when we are going to the festival. Alrighty, we are in line for the festival. I can't tell how long the line is, but we are definitely like definitely in line is all I'm saying. But um our friends are right behind us and yeah, that is pretty much the update. Uh I've heard that this festival security isn't too bad, like nothing crazy like Bonnaroo and the police line, but we will see. We will see. We are in some sort of line, unsure. <laughs> Unsure where security is, but we are in line moving nonetheless. So that is great. We literally waited in like several lines 
Um, I'm not complaining. We're just jamming out. I do have to pee a little bit. Uh, we're, we're, vibes are still high. It's almost 12 o'clock. Uh, yeah, so we'll see what this security business is. Hopefully they just check for glass and we move on, so. Okay, so this is officially the security line. We got Thursday like, Karen in. I'm excited to see like how this festival sets up everything. Um, especially inside like their decor. It looks like we might have a bit of a walk, but I can't really tell like where the actual festival is at, like the actual festival grounds. Now for the annoying part of setting up the tents, which I am terrible at. The dilemma is, so the, the, the easy up, I suppose, I, we left the freaking top to it. I don't know where the top to it is. So we're gonna try to zip tie a tarp as our little top of the easy up because I wanna make this happen. And Julia got her hair caught in the easy up. <laughs> we need to find those zip ties. There's our campsite, or there's their campsite. There's uh, our tent. Here is our campsite. We got it all set up. Caught, Joel's and I. We get in the blankets. We got the tapestries with a million zip ties. Um, that thing, this little shoe holder with all the all the things. Not in. <laughs> of course, hey guys. <laughs> and I'm starving, so I'm going to get some pasta salad. Also, look at the tarp. Crafty, because we didn't have the easy up top. Who knows where that bitch is? We don't know. The famous uh, festival pasta salad. We got chickpea pasta, regular pasta, carrots, cucumbers, tomatoes, chicken, broccoli, goat cheese, and feta with like some dressing on it. Carbs, protein, vegetables. Yeah. All right, we got the fit check. I got this set from Tasteful Girl. It's like a small business or festivals or whatever. We got the gems on, hair, Haley K as usual. Uh, earrings, Amazon, um, leg warmers and stuff from Amazon, docks, sunglasses, Amazon, anything else. This is Joel's outfit. She literally made it herself. That's why it's so impressive. I'm obsessed with the shoes. Amazon, Amazon, I made the top. Yeah, look at the top, the detail, the detail, the hair. Shout out to Sophia. <laughs> we got some shops near, kind of near us, not actually really. We actually probably walked a good bit. So we're very much like at the end, which is fine. A little walking never hurt nobody. So I actually don't, we're not exactly sure where the actual festival is anyway. So I'm just following the herd of people hoping to be going the right way. Oh, the Zen Den, and that's where the ice, the ice bath is, and like the sauna or whatever, or the uh, cold plunge rather. Here's the entrance, we just got through security. Over there. Oh, it's a cute little sign. All right, a cute little element sign. Cute little arc. And that looks like a stage over there. Whoever's there sounds really good. 
I'm like really impressed by this festival so far. Oh, so, let's see. Oh, taste test. Ooh, that's good. That looks like a hydration thing, but I'm not sure. Like a bougie one. I don't know. Looks like a hydration thing, kind of. Healing garden. Oh, wow. That's a fire safe for sure. Oh my god. Nighttime vibes outfit. We got the parachute pants. No, you can still talk. <laughs> um, parachute pants from Amazon and the same top I was wearing. We are back in the campsite because we wanted to change and get like a snack before going back in to STS9, which is like like an order. They're from like the nine STS9 is from the 90s. You guys know? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, really? so from the 90s, and it's like jam band mixed with EDM combined, and it's like the visuals are amazing, so I'm pretty hyped. This was like my number one show for tonight. So, just have a minor complaint. 
that there's no fucking ice. And we just had to walk like all the way pretty much into the festival to get ice. And now I'm carrying a like 40 pound bag of ice back in, in a sweatsuit. And I'm sweating. So poor planning on the festival's part because you should probably have ice stations closer to where everyone's at. Like there's not any like, the, and we went to the general store and everything too. But here we are, I earned this iced coffee. <laughs> okay, we finally have the iced coffee that I'm making on the ground. We got Fair Life Vanilla, my favorite one. Vanilla latte, protein, and caffeine. So, this is our little pop-up thing that was supposed to be a shower, but I pee in it, so there's your festival tip of the day, right? <laughs> okay, so here is today's outfit. We have sunglasses courtesy of Joel's a top, the reflective top that I've worn before. We have I Heart Raves, um, Amazon, these little like garters. They make your legs look really good. And then sock boots, uh, public desire. Here's the back. And then we have reflective crop jacket that I've worn before you guys have seen. We got the red pashmina. Although I don't think I like these earrings with the red pashmina dilemmas okay this is angel's outfit we are obsessed with it um because we all kind of collabed uh ariana did her hair space buns we got the cute little oh look at that cute little top earrings and then the pants super trendy and then she's gonna wear the white docks probably white doc martins just got the regular um liquid death the grim leafer highly recommend so the dilemma of the day, also besides the earrings, is that there might be like a chance of storms, of course, like story of this summer's fucking life, like it storms every single day. But just hope, we're just hoping that it's not going to be like, oh, we're just hoping that, th that they're gonna go around us because I really don't want that to like back up the show. So we, ha we have like a whole line of shows tonight, so. Fingers freaking crossed. Pray to every god out there that nothing bad happens. Okay, guys, we're gonna do a little outfit check. Okay, I already talked about mine. Wait, I have to get the rest of it. Julia, you talk about yours. Okay, so everything is from Amazon. I have a star top, lace, um, tight situation. I got the gloves, little cross necklace. We got this little did you make cash veil situation. 360, 360. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so I have, this is the reflective jacket. So my top is also reflective. Yeah. And, oh, hello. Oh. Okay, so we have this here that can be zippered for like nighttime. I'm not zippering it because I don't feel like it. And Pash. I think that's it. Oh, my sun sunglasses. So new from Amazon. Yes. We are going in, so the lineup is um, Elephant Heart. Little break, so we're going to explore the festival. And then, why am I blanking right now? At the worst time. Zangara. It's like, I don't really know. Like, I've only listened to a few songs of hers, but we're going to see Zangara. And then Daily Bread. And then, who's after Daily Bread? Oh, Peekaboo. Peekaboo. And then Ella Stream, and then Subtronics, and then Skrillex. So that's the lineup for the night.
totems look cool though. things you can if i can do it you can do it yeah it just sucks with apple there's like i don't know it doesn't really do okay guys it's sunday morning we are feeling a little bit rough we were up kind of late last night but um today we are actually leaving so the shows aren't till like the like main shows like res plays today but she doesn't play until later like probably 10 o'clock so we don't really want to stay that long because we're not staying over on sunday so i'm gonna go over here so you can hear me better we're gonna leave after so ella stream has this light code set which is like i think it's like guided meditation type of thing i'm not exactly sure but we'll figure it out but we're gonna go into that that's at 11 o'clock and then honestly we're gonna come right back here to camp and pack up last night was fucking crazy so we waited up like the entire day to get to the rail at Ella Stream. Like that was my number one priority, like I said. But before that, we saw Peekaboo was fucking crazy. Like it started raining and it was so cool. Like I've never experienced something. Like I've been going to festivals for a while and that was like a prime moment. Like I'll never forget that last night. Like it was crazy. So anyway, we got to the rail at Ella Stream. We saw like probably half his show and then um, he came on, like, it wasn't even raining at this point, came on, it was like, all right, like, everyone needs to evacuate, like, we're in, like, a code red or whatever, there was some lightning in the distance, but, like, not a ton, like, we were all, like, okay, like, people were pissed, I turned around, and everyone's pupils were just, like, huge, like, these people were, like, like, rolling hard and, like, devastated that we had to evacuate, so we all, like, it kind of funneled out, like, it took a while to, like, actually get out of the festival, and then um, we came back. Honestly, it was for the better because I kind of got into a little altercation at the rail um, with this kid that made me feel uncomfortable. So, um, yeah, we came back. We changed clothes. Like, I put, like, a baggy sweatshirt on. And then when the it cleared again to go back in, um, Subtronics and Skrillex were the acts that were playing. So we went and saw Skrillex just because it was on, like, the big stage, like, the fire stage. And they were kind of like a headliner that doesn't come around often, and I've seen some Tronics, so we stayed at Skrillex. They were okay. They weren't, like, my favorite. They didn't play, like, a, like a lot of the songs I wanted. But um, I always say they when it's, like, one guy. Just ignore that. But, yeah, so probably leave right after this like code set, but I'll show you. This is the fit of the day. The fit is there is no fit. This is the t-shirt I wore when we were driving down. The pink fake Oakleys. She's kind of cute. Love you. Thanks. We got our tropical smoothie post Ella stream meditation session, which was amazing. And this is also very good. Water sage. The worst part of the festival, it's fucking terrible. 
<laughs> Bye, elements. We will miss you. All right, guys, we are on our way out. It's so funny that I'm wearing literally the same fucking t-shirt that we I wore when we were coming in here. But anyway, we got, this is my first time trying this sparkling, just the regular sparkling liquid death, and it is refreshing. We're gonna hit up Wawa on the way home. I'm super pumped about that. But overall, I give that festival uh, maybe seven and a half slash eight out of 10. It, the the production was amazing like the um like the stages were so cool like it was decorated i would say even better than bonnaroo like the mushrooms and everything watch this car coming um the decorations and stuff were crazy the stages were insane but i feel like you can only do that at a smaller festival because if you did that at a bigger festival like you just need like bigger stages their stages were small and like obviously like there was one in the woods like that was really cool but when it was super packed you weren't able to um see always because there's like sculptures that people are like sitting on and stuff but um that was really my only thing with that stage it did get a little bit muddy but I, I kind of like the mud. It's funny and it's, you know, it's just, you, know, you just got to put on a pair of boots and truck through it. Um, but, you know where you're going. <laughs> I feel like we're on the fucking racetrack. Yeah, should we turn around? No, dead ass. Look, this is definitely the racetrack. <laughs> Hot girls. <laughs> Hot girls making oopsie in the car. <laughs> Um, where was I going with that? My favorite festival moment was probably just yesterday, the entire day, being so close, waiting for Ella Stream, even though we didn't get to like see his full set. It was still like Peekaboo's set was honestly, I think maybe my favorite. Daily Bread was so fucking good too. Like he he's so good to vibe with and just like I just love it. It's it's just like you can't not like that music. So I think that was like my favorite moment. What would you say? And just like headbanging too. Like that was so fun. Just like being around everybody. What would you say? We're trying to navigate here, but. I would say, I would say peekaboo too. I mean, not to talk to you, but since we were almost in the front, that was yeah. fucking cool. That was really cool. Mm. I, I don't think like, because it's a smaller festival, it's easier to get in the front. Yeah. So that was, um, that was really, really cool, I think. And I, I, it also has like an electric forest kind of vibe. I've never been to electric forest, but it, that's what it seems like to me. Yeah. And All I, would, I would give it like an eight out of 10. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're leaving. We're good. We're good. Yeah. An eight out of 10, you said? Yeah. I think yeah. the only thing that made me mad was the whole bag situation. So, they oh yeah. So, um, uh, an another cons list. Like, I don't know if I already talked about this, so I apologize, but there's not like at, so festivals usually have like a row of bathrooms for every campsite, a row of bathrooms with sinks and showers, and then usually some food vendors around for like each campsite, like a, like a little hub thing. But this festival did not, they only had like for us anyway, I don't know about other campsites, but they only had a row of porta potties and like a big water jug that was like empty half the time and um it was hard to like fill up your water what are we doing keep going so yeah that was another con about it uh the prices were pretty expensive i paid 50 dollars for a t-shirt and i understand that that's like kind of the standard but it wasn't as nice as the bonnaroo t-shirts and the bonnaroo t-shirts were cheaper so look at my hair from the rain yeah like peekaboo i'm like all over the place but peekaboo that rain was almost seemed fucking fake like it seemed like they were controlling the rain because like the beat dropped and the rain dropped too and it was so cool like there's something about like okay we're good we're on the right track um like moments like that like you just you just can't like describe actually being what well, actually being there feels like i am rambling too long so i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog uh first time at elements music festival in pennsylvania in like poconos don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more festival and fitness content and whatever other shenanigans i get into like this video support your girl and i'll catch you in the next one